Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Tanks with the Apocalypse. It's another video with my good friend the M103 today. The tier 9 US heavy tank. This thing has a colossal quantity of bending and shaping and curving and angling on the front of this tank and no side of murmur whatsoever at all. And a turret the size of the Empire State Building. However, it also has a not very accurate but very very powerful 120 millimeter gun with an average damage of 420 it can really pack a punch and yeah it's not the most accurate thing in the world but hey we can deal 254 pen 420 average damage I'll take it go ahead it's a brawling tank anyway we're gonna be heading over to heavy corner today on the El Haloof map because let's face it, we're a top tier heavy. What else are we gonna do? We've got good gun depression, so we're perfect for this corner and a good turret to boot. Um, the enemy team does seem to be pretty good. Uh, they've got some very, very strong heavy tanks. Uh, they do have their own M103. Uh, I'm more scared, to be honest, of the Centurion 71. That turret is nasty, and well, that's a medium. We don't want to know what happens when those things get beside us. Um, the WZ is down on the uh, south side of the map, as is the Centurion, so that's a worry out of my side for now. Um, the IS-8 and I are going to be working heavy corner here with the T-34 working back up. I think he's going to come down with us. Uh, Tiger 2 side shot, and it bounced. I think it hit his front, to be honest, because the accuracy in this gun isn't great. Um, this this gun, not very accurate, very high damage. And the shots like that on a moving target at that sort of range, you hope they hit the side. You kind of just have to aim at them. Weak spots don't happen with this tank. We're beginner running this heavy corner against some pretty crazy odds lost. today. Um, it's the IS-8 and me against a Panther 2 and M103 and a couple others up there that we can't see yet. There's that 103. Put a shot into him. To, so that was a trade. Don't really want to be trading damage with him too much. There's the Leopard prototype. Trying to get up past this. Yeah, bounced a really lucky shot from the Leopard. Took another one from the 103. But now I'm up on the high ground. There is a batch at 155 in play. So I have to be real careful up here. But this is just a perfect position to be in if you're trying to take this corner with fewer people. IS-8 just nailed the M103. The batch hat just fired at me, so now I know I have some time before he can fire again. I am rapidly running out of health, though. I'm taking a bit of a battering. But I am in a decent position now. Batchet should be loaded pretty soon. The M53 scores a wonderful direct hit on the Panther. I love you, artillery. Uh, the Leopard is backing off, so we've won this part of the corner, which is one of the important bits, because now I can get down into artillery cover away from the uh, Batchet. I was just spotted. Get down here into this cliff, make sure the Batchet can't fire at me. Get further down. If I can get all the way down here, I'm in a happy place. Because then the bat shot really can't hit me. Charging ahead of my uh, IS-8 and T-34 a bit. I'm not lo looking at the map right now, or if I was, I would notice that they're not following me down here. There's Leopard and J-Panther. Panther missed, but that's the butt end of a Leopard, so I'll take that. Scores are even, 3-3, three, three, and that's a panther. Bounced off my front armor, was fairly well angled there. But now I'm going to need to uh, start being a little bit more careful with uh, my health, because I can only take one or two more shots from these tier 8s. Side shot an AC-48, I will take that every single time. Those things are just so weak from the sides. 
And there's a Roomba. Bounce him. Okay, that's a little bit more than I really want to be taking right now. Trying to angle against the Leopard. He takes one shot at me. He does go in. Trying to reload. But he is getting that light. He is going to try and poke back over again, though. And if you'll notice, the IS-8 has completely abandoned me. And the 34 is dead. So, I am alone against four enemy tanks. But, I know that if I back up around this corner and get them to come around after me, I will have friendly support, because that J-Panther directly behind me just got killed by our two guys back on the ridge there at F3. Because so I think there's three of them back there. Missed a shot on the Leopard. This gun isn't exactly known for accuracy. Now I'm in trouble. But it bounced the shot from the 75. The Leopard misses. He rushed that shot. Put one into him. Keep backing up. I need to get it so that these two can be shot at by the Object 704 and KV-13 and Canarvan behind me. Get rid of the Leopard. Now it's just the 75. But I am in a prime position to sit back here and abuse my gun depression against him and wait for him to try and come around the corner against the Object 704. Just waiting, being patient. I'm on really low health. I don't want to take another hit. There's a waffle tractor. I put a shot into him. Angle. Back up. There is a tank right behind me so I can't back up too much. Re-angle. Bounce a shot from him. He's not backing up so I'm going to punish him for that. And our Object 704 finishes him off. Now it's just the 75 and all he can see is my turret. So he bounces, he's tracked. I hit the floor because yay yeah, accuracy. But it's okay, he is still tracked and there is three enemy tanks just pummeling him from back there. So I get to finish him off. The IS-8s finally come back. And I get a GG from the Object 704, so good to be appreciated. I think I'm gonna say GG back here. Right now, just... There we go. Give thanks where it's due. He saved my ass. And now it's just clean up. There's a 155 and a Yank Tiger 88. And, I mean, my job in this game is pretty much done now. I've done 3,000 damage. I've tanked a lot of damage. Um, the replay file will be in the video description, so... You guys will be able to see the actual details, but I think it, it ended up being something like 3,000 damage done. And, uh, 8,000... no, 7,000 damage received. Something in that ballpark. Um, but definitely a very, very fun game in the M103 putting this as possibly my favorite heavy tank in the game so far. I mean, I haven't played a massive quantity of heavies. I'm at the uh, IS-3 in the Russian line, this thing in the US line, but, um, and the, uh, the, um, what is it? The tier 7 French heavy tank. It's a piece of crap. Um, but yeah, but this has got to be my favorite heavy so far. Yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed playing it. And, uh, well, watch your six. Kill some of them bad guys for me. Uh, have some fun. Kill some tanks. And I will catch you guys next time on World of Tanks with the Apocalypse. See y'all next time.